Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to give execute permission to specific store procedures to a user in a database of SQL Server. We'll be using two methods to do it. One is SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and other is using T-SQL script. So let's go ahead and do it. This is my uh, SQL Server. I'm connected with SQL Server Management Studio. This is SQL Server 2014. So um, I have the database right here. So I am going to uh, select a user that is already in the database and I'm going to give uh, execute permission on a specific store procedure. We have a store procedure right here. This is user defined store procedure, DBO proc underscore all customer. This user, uh, this uh, particular store procedure, uh, what it does is it grabs all the uh, customers from the uh, customer tables. So customer related tables. So we're gonna go ahead and give permission to a user uh, Kevin Scott right here we're going to give uh, execute permission on that particular store procedure there are two ways to do it using graphic user interface one is that you can select the um, double click on the user and go to the scurable and click on search and click on specific object okay and click on object types in this case object type would be store procedures so we're going to select store procedures okay and when we click browse it's going to browse all the store procedures for us so these are the store procedure these are system store procedure we're going to go ahead and give uh, this all customer uh, procedure that is one user defined store procedure so we're going to go ahead and select that particular uh, uh, store procedure click ok click ok as you can see that it is added in the pan in scurable pan right here now uh, as soon as this store procedure came here, uh, these are the store procedure related permissions alter. Uh, if we give alter permission, uh, this user can go ahead and alter the store procedure definition. And right here is the execute permission. We're going to go ahead and click execute and we're going to go ahead and click OK. So this is one way to um, provide permission uh, on a, a store procedure, execute permission on a store procedure to a user so what we're going to do is the use the second method uh, which is selecting the store procedure basically right click on the store procedure go to the properties and go to the permission up here you right now it says that um, it's uh, the uh, tech brother Kevin Scott user is already there but uh, in order to add more store procedure or uh, more users um, I'm sorry so we're, we're gonna go ahead and as you can see right here it says users or or roles if you have a role that you wanted to um, add to this user and give uh, execute permission to the role you can add that too. we're gonna go ahead and click on search click browse and right here is our users. We have uh, applica uh, application role, uh, basically database role right here. So we're going to go ahead and add the database role. And anybody who has permission to this database role will be able to execute this store procedure. So we went ahead and added this role and we're going to go ahead and click on execute. That will give execute permission to this particular role. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. One thing I wanted to mention that if you give execute permission to any user um, on a store procedure or the, all the underlying table that that store procedure uses, you don't need to give permission to the tables. This user will automatically get the permission from uh, executing the store procedure. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. So this is the second way of uh, um, using graphic user interface to give permission. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, remove this user permissions and use our script to do it. This is how you remove it. You just go ahead and remove the permissions and click OK. And you can go ahead and go back to permissions and you see no permissions to this user so what we're going to do is our second method is go ahead and get the script and run that script to give execute permission so I'm going to go ahead and add this store procedure all it does is grant execute permission on a store procedure and which uh, user right here you can provide basically a group right here 
and the execute permission will be um, given to all that group so we're gonna go ahead and run this script and let's go back and see if that particular user is added so we're gonna go ahead and click on double click on user and right here so as you can see this is execute permission you can check it the other way look at the store procedure and go to the permissions so basically this is how you provide um, give execute permission to specific store procedures you can select multiple store procedures keep in mind that when you select multiple store store procedure you have to go to almost each store procedure to give execute permission you have an option press control and select all the store procedure and give permission execute that will be all store procedure execute permissions so we used SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and we saw a couple method that we can give execute permission to store procedure and then we went ahead and we used T SQL script and I hope this video helps.